kind of bit? Well, it could be. On the other hand, it could be hoof and mouth disease. It could too. be measles or mumps or whooping cough. No, it couldn't be the whooping cough. I've had that. I know the symptoms. You cough a whole lot. Now, here you are taking advantage of all that free advice I gave you. When I give it to you, you were so downright rude to me. Hey, you hurt my feelings awful bad. Well, listen, you walked right in my it's way It's all right. It's all right. I can see that you're one of these girls who never learn how to say I'm sorry. I was wrong. Milt, I was just going up now, to the uh, depot. When you uh, are deciding which of us you're going to wait on first, remember, I pay cash. Milt, who is that man? Well, whoever he is, he ain't someone in a popularity contest that's trying very hard to win. Ah. Watch Milt stick him with one of them old plugs. Now, these here's all special bread. Thoroughbred stock and Indian pony. One gives them beauty and speed, and the other one gives them stamina. All right, I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll give you $40, and I get the pick of a horse on the premises. $40? Why, any horse on the place is worth more than that. I'll tell you something else. When this money gets back in my pocket, that's where it stays. No, no, now, just keep it out. Keep it out. And that's a deal, huh? Yep. I get the pick of any horse on the premises. Any horse on the premises. All right. Yeah. Now, right here's a mighty fine piece of horse flesh. You just take a look at it. Hey, where are you going? I'll take this one. Wait a minute. That's my horse. Well, you heard the deal, didn't you? Sure did. Forty dollars for any horse on the premises. You keep out of this. Well, isn't this part of the premises? I'd call it the premises. You mind your own business. That horse is worth $150 of anybody's money. You give him a good rub down and saddle him up for me, will you? Saddle him up for me, will you? Well, wait a minute. You get... That horse is worth a lot more than $40. You got to give me a break. You took advantage of me. Say, hey, there's something else you can do for me. Something else? Yep. Just forget the whole thing. Oh, wait a minute. I'm looking for someone in the name. What's he do? Well, mostly he just goes around picking on people because he's a little meaner, a little tougher than anybody else. Sounds like Jumbo. He's not an old fella, is he? No, matter of fact, about your age, wouldn't you say? He's a little fella? Little fella? <laughs> Why do you think we call him Jumbo? That's <laughs> a danger. Oh you, oh, you mean because he's a big fella? Sure. Oh. Well, you know, I think that's just the man I'm looking for. Where might I find him this time of day? He always has lunch over there at the Chinaman's. What's all the people for? What are the people for? Oh, they're waiting for the fight to start. What fight? Well, the one between you and me. Hello? Uh, we'll try not to interfere with your lunch, ma'am. You going back for more? Yeah, well, well, this time I think I'm going to try to hit him. Mm -hmm. Hold on, just a minute. Just one more. 